if you invite me out to dinner, you should pay. When you're going on that first date, like you shouldn't be going with the mentality of, hey, I want to go to a fancy restaurant. Money is very important. I'm on a budget. I'm not telling you women to settle for somebody who's lazy and just gives you love because love doesn't pay the bills. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Elevate. My name is Jessica. My name is Darwin. And we're here again. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about today, Jessica? Oh my God, what are we talking about? I This topic is on fire. very right interesting. Now. Yeah, I've seen a couple of posts, people talking about this topic. So what's the topic? So we're talking about, should you split the bill with your date on the first date? You going out to dinner? Who? So, what do you think? What are your thoughts? This is trending right now, from what yeah. I saw. I got people on both sides. What's your thought as a, as a, as a beautiful woman? See, if you would have asked me this question, being in my twenties, I would have said, "No, it's fine. Like I could split the bill." But now I, I think differently about it. Now I feel like. If on the first date, as the man, you're not trying to, like, have my back, even with that little gesture, like, that says a lot, you know? Maybe, okay. But what if he feels that he's just... And I know, like, for me, for for example, I know that for me, it was more of a... I didn't want the other person to feel like I was taking advantage because I never wanted to wanted it to seem like, oh, I'm coming out on a date with you because I want free food. You they know? say, oh, sorry, cut you off, but they say that there's women that, that do, do that, that. <laughs> right. and they take these guys that obviously have money. <laughs> I forgot what they what they said they call them. And well, that's a chapeadora. <laughs> I don't know what else no, you want to call it's them. It's like a specific name for it that they you know get guys and take them out to like. Expensive ass restaurants. Yeah, I wouldn't know. That's crazy. I, th- that would make me feel guilty. It's like I want, I want crab legs today. Let me hit somebody up. <laughs> let me, let me. I want to eat something expensive. Let me go on a date. I could never do that. You know, like I just wouldn't feel right. You know, I just no. My conscience wouldn't let me do that. So. Back in the day, you know, because I wanted to be an independent woman. You know, like I didn't want to feel. Like, it was all on the guy that I was dating at the time. I was, no, that's just weird. To me, I felt like that that back in the day. But now, like, if it was, I think it depends on the stage of yeah. life, you know? I think, for me, in my opinion, as a guy, on the first date, I feel like you should not split the bill. If, you, yeah. if you're, let's say I'm on a budget. Then don't take them to that to a, a very expensive restaurant because you know you can't afford it. So either one, don't go on a date because you can't afford it. Find something affordable, or if you're going to take a woman on a on a first date, then pay for it. I agree. You're right. It's just I'm always trying to look for like the but what if you know but what if but it's like at the end of the day it is what it is and that just shows. I feel like your commitment to to wanting to get this to get to know this girl and it shows like that's sexy, you know, like when a man takes a woman out and he, you know, acts like he has the pants, you know, like there you was know? another one actually that so that they were sitting at the table and the, and the woman was recording him and she, he asked for for the check to be split. And she asked why, and he said, "Cause you're not giving me no ass tonight." <laughs> just like that, she had it on on video. Oh, so he's just an asshole. He was trying to get ass, and he's like, "Oh, you going you gonna make me pay for this whole?" So meal? he's he's equal to those women who go yeah. on on dates for free food. He goes on dates for with the expectation that he's gonna get some ass. Yeah, he's just he's just that's just trash right there. That's funny. At, at that point, is like you know what I pay the whole bill. Like forget it. Like I'm just, I'm not even counting this as a date. Like I would just literally pay the whole bill goodbye. Like I will never talk to you again. I think we used to split the bill after, right? I feel like we had a point that we split the bill. I don't remember. That was before, like we had joint accounts or anything. I don't know if we did or 
we didn't. I feel like we did. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't remember this. I mean, if we did, obviously it's because we had two separate accounts at that point, mm-hmm. and we was already a couple. I mean, so it was probably like, okay, you have some money in your account. I have some money. I don't account. remember ever feeling like I had to give you money when we would go out to eat. Or maybe I'm confusing it, like when we used to go out as a group. Now we definitely used to do this. Okay, this is another you know side of the topic. Do you split the bill if you're out eating with friends? So mm-hmm. Be- before we go to that one, let, let let me continue on this one real quick. There was another video. I'm telling you, this is trending. So the guy went out with the girl, and she brought a group of friends. And at the end of the night, he told her, like, I'm not paying for all of you. I agree with him on that. So it was like she like there was fighting and all that because it's like, obviously, they didn't want to pay. But she had like an entourage of women. I feel like that's a little stretching. First of all, if you're in a date, I don't know why that person is bringing a friend. But whatever. Let's say it was her birth. I, I don't know if it was her birthday or whatever. Let's say but, she would ask. Yeah, let's say she invites one or two friends. Then maybe depending on your situation, you can be like, you know what? I personally, I will be like, I'll feel uncomfortable to ask for money. Mm-hmm. But now, if I feel like they're taking advantage of me, it's like a whole crew. I would be like, as soon as they get there, I'd be like, listen, I'm not paying for them. Like they got money or whatever. If it's like a whole big ass group, or just like say like, hey, this was a date. Like I didn't know you were bringing so many people. That's rude. Yeah. Like, you get invited out to eat. You get invited out to eat and you bring a whole group of friends with you. Mm-hmm. Like, I, that's abusive in my opinion. Like, see, if we had dinner and then let's say we went out and met. Like, zero cons- uh, zero consideration on the other person. Like, if we went out and met, like, additional, like, your friends. Like, if we wanted to extend the night, let's say, and we went out and showed up. But come on, 15 people, like... That's a little beast. She brought 15? It was a lot of people. That's crazy. I mean, honestly, for me, even two extra people is too much yeah. because you don't know the other person's situation. And again, like like you said, like that man could have been on a budget, but he really wants to get to know you. And so he budgeted to take you out on a date and not your whole group of friends. It might, he might be even stretching himself thin just to take you out. And you yeah, over here like... That's very inconsiderate in my opinion. Um, and he's in all his right to be upset about that. Like, no, that's that's a red flag. That's a red flag. <laughs> yes, for real. Um, but OK, so now when it comes to groups, we used to do this when we were in our early 20s. You know, we would always go out with like friends and we just would split the bill at the end. And we didn't have any issue with that. Um. I feel like there's always that it's okay if everybody is aware of that that's what's going to be done. Yeah. And you know, sometimes in your life you're not that everybody isn't making that much money and it just makes sense for the bill to be split. But now that I'm in a different stage of life, I feel like we're grown enough and unless it's like a group thing where everybody is like, let's go out because we need a, an adult night out. Yeah. If you invite me out to dinner, you should pay because you're inviting me. Yeah. If I now, I feel the same way about myself. It goes both ways. If I invite someone out to dinner, I should be paying because I don't know that person's financial situation. And let's say I just I miss them. And I want to go out and eat, but that maybe that person tells me, yeah, but they actually aren't really yeah. doing so well financially and they shouldn't be spending this money. I should be able to pay for that person if I invite them. Or they don't feel like, um, you know, like they don't know how to say no. Right. So it's like, damn, this person is inviting me out. I haven't gone out in a while. They've probably been like super strict on whatever they're doing. And like you kind of just like ignite them, that bad little influence. And right. they're like, ah, you know what, fuck it. Right. And now that I'm older and, you know, a lot of us are, of our friends, we are all in our early 30s. We're all trying to get our life together, you know, trying to buy a house or whatever it is. We, sh- we should be more mindful yeah. of people's finances. 
I feel like when we were in our early 20s, it was more fun and games. Mm -hmm. And nothing was so serious. And we were just like, okay, like, you know. No, and also, too, like, let's say I invite a friend out. And that friend is like, okay, I'll go out to you. What, like, what can I hurt? Like, they just want to go out and have a eat and eat something. And let's say we, it's me and you. And, like, I'm just popping drinks. Let's say I don't drink like that. But let's just say I'm just, like, ordering drinks and drinks and drinks. And these drinks add up. Yeah, Honestly, definitely. when you go out to eat, that's what adds up is the drinks. And this person is not eating. So I run I run up the bill. And then I say, like, oh, hey, let's, let's split the bill. Yeah. It's not fair to that person that ordered some appetizers. The and bare a soda. minimum because that's what they had, you know, to, you know a 20, they could afford. A $20, $30 meal. And then I'm telling this person, like, hey, let's split a $300 bill. Like, right. how, It's not fair to that person. I feel like. Yeah, we should definitely be more conscious about that. And and I feel like that's that's sort of like etiquette. Mm-hmm. That's like that should be the norm. If you go out with a group, you should be considerate that you're not putting up the bill because everybody else is going to pay your price. Yeah. You know, you should always keep that in mind. Like, let me get. Or or if you don't want to do that, then make sure that your bill is separate from everybody else's because it's not fair to everybody else. Yeah, because you can always tell them, like, it doesn't have to be awkward. Like, you don't have right. to at the end of the night be like, but you can tell the waiter, like, hey, can you put mine on a, on a separate bill? And they'll just, they will note it down. Right, right. And if, if, if your friend feels so, a certain type of way, then, you know, you need to have that discussion like, hey. This is what I'm doing and I can't afford it. Or you should have that that confidence with, with the friend or the person that you're going out with. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Now, like I said before, you know, it's it's not always a bad thing. I'm not just going to cross it off as like that's a terrible thing to do. But now that I'm much older and I understand a lot more things, I do realize that the right thing to do and the polite thing to do is that when you invite a person out to eat dinner lunch whatever it may be you invite them you should be paying and if you cannot afford that then don't invite them out to eat invite them to do something else you know there's so many other things that you can do with a person you guys don't have to go out to eat yeah what about, you know, since we're talking about, like, splitting the bill and, like, splitting basically your finances with other people, what about throwing parties and expecting everybody else to chip in when it's, let's say, your idea? You say, I want to have a get-together, and you invite everybody, but everybody has to bring something. Like is that okay? I, we've done that plenty of times in the past. Yeah, I think I think it depends on the situation. On the event, yeah. Maybe? Because, for example, like let's say Thanksgiving or New Year's or Christmas, or whatever, like something like that. Like, yeah, you you should. Like if the if family. we're if we're all like if this is my household, like again, depending where everybody's with their finances. If I feel like I can throw a party and like have everything and everybody just walk through the door and just have fun, then I will do it. I feel like I don't have a problem with it, but obviously that's ideal for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause then you don't have to worry about like, Hey, you bring this, you bring that. And everybody just has a good time. I feel like when I always feel like when I throw a party, I I would like for everybody to just come stress free and actually enjoy the party. Like if you have everybody like cook something You take away from their, they might have a, how can I put this? They no longer just have to show up. Now they have to think about, a. you just gave them a responsibility for the party, you know? And it might be cool with some people because some people actually like to do that. They like to cook or whatever it is. But sometimes people. Like your mom. (laughs) Yeah, but sometimes people do it, you know, por obligación, you know, because the other person kind of put that on their lap. Like, you need to bring this, you know? And so. Yeah, it, it depends, I feel like, on the events, like yeah. you said. I mean, we've, we've done it, and I'm saying, like, we're... Definitely. I mean, where I feel it doesn't fit is, for example, if I'm throwing a birthday party, like, for you or for my kids, I feel like it's a little inappropriate for me to ask another person, like, 
can you chip in for this? Like, if I'm throwing a party, I should have the funds to fund that party. Yeah. For sure. Because it's it's it was my idea, you know, and then I'm getting other people's finances yeah, yeah. involved in something that I planned. Yeah. Like, if you don't have the... You know who does that a lot? Um, My uncle Ramon. Like, when, when they throw, like, events, it's just like, come, come have fun. You know, obviously, if, like there's something missing that they can forget like that's not a problem right but it's not like a hey like come over here and you need to bring this in order to come yeah yeah and they throw the most amazing get-togethers like they are so um shout out to ramon and lucas yes we, we you love you this. guys <laughs> <laughs> they're so como se dice servicia, like very giving they love to host all the time and, of course, if they ever need anything, you know, Babe always asks them, do you guys need us to bring anything? And, of course, they always say no. But, you know, we would be more than happy in, to bring something. But they don't demand of us to bring anything. Yeah. We, out of us, you know, because we know we can bring something, we ask them. Um, but, yeah, I love their get-togethers. They're, there's always amazing food and I always go over there, and if I'm stressed, like, all the stress just goes out the window, and I just have a good time, and it's great how a party and a get-together should be, you know? Yeah. So, since we on the same topic about chipping in and all that, how about if you're going on, like, a road trip, a vacation, and people chipping in for gas? I remember back in the days, it's like, whoever had the car would be, like, this was that I'm talking about like when we was like early twenties. Like whoever got the car was like, who got five, ten dollars for gas? I think that's fine because everybody's going on the trip. Like, why not? Why could why wouldn't you help the person? I mean, that's your mode of transportation. You're in the car. Yeah. Like if you weren't if that person wasn't driving you, you was gonna have to find a way to get to your destination. So yeah, I think that's fair to chip it for something like that. I'm in a point of my life where I'm more, like, I've changed a lot, you know, the way I think about certain things, where before it used to be not so much of a big deal. Now it's like, I feel like it's rude. And I just, you know, I'm at a point of my life where I want to have, like, get-togethers to host. Like, I want to be the host, and I'm not... I don't want anybody else to to worry about anything. Yeah. Like I want to be able to throw those parties. Whenever I do, I want to be able to, to invite you and you come over, have a good time and do not worry about bringing anything. Just have and ha come and have a good time. Like I'm in that point of life where I want to start doing that kind of stuff. I'm even, you know, like I wasn't so much into like cooking or like learning how to do like new recipes. Like in my 20s, I wasn't really into that. Now it's like, I don't know, my brain just did a switch. <laughs> you got a new kitchen. That's what happened. <laughs> maybe, maybe that influenced a little bit, you know, but yeah, I just, I'm at a point where I want to try new things and I want to host and I just want people to invite people over and and make sure that they're having a good time it's like that transition where you know usually before in our 20s we would be like oh let's find a dope ass restaurant let's go check this out and i was like oh let's kind of find this nice meal that people could come over we can kind of host yeah enjoy the night sip on some wine it just feels very nicely yeah. now i i kind of understand why lucas and ramon like to host I, it, that probably isn't for everybody yeah. um, because obviously you have to be the type of person who wants to have people over and you know, deal with everything. Right. But it does, you know, sound very nice to me now to just cater to people sometimes, yeah. maybe not all the time because it, it is very exhausting. But if you plan everything out and you have the funds to do it, it's possible. And you, it's possible for you to do that and have a good time as long as you're an organized person. Keyword, organized. And because if you're not, it could be a very stressful day for you. Um, and, and to also have, like, some help. Like, if you have a partner, and like, it's just, I feel like it's so important to have another person who's, like, willing to host with you. Um, like in my case, you are always very helpful if I ever want to host anything. <laughs> you know, he helps me. He doesn't. 
he doesn't just, you know, sit down on the couch and just wait for me to, like, do everything. Like, the the couple times that we've hosted here in the house, he, you know, if he sees that, que yo estoy como un poquito apura, you know, trying to hurry up to finish something up, he's like, okay, what well, can I help you with? Like, can I start making the the salad, you know, the dressing, whatever side dishes that need to be done. Like, he helps me out, and that's amazing. Um, but you do need to be very arg- organized when you're throwing any yeah. events. Nah, I feel like I'm a, I'm a good host as well. And I'm a, I think I'm a natural giver. You are. So, I mean, even when we talk about, like, oh, when we buy a house or whatever, we want to do it because we want to host... Like having a backyard and doing mm-hmm. barbecues and like that's know. like the one thing that calls us to a house. Everything else calls us to like a condo, and then we think about, but then you know we can't have like that many people over. There's gonna be too many rules. We have music. We can't have the kids running <laughs> around. Yeah, so we look forward to doing things like that when we actually own a home. And you have to be careful too, because I feel like when we first got our apartment, we used to host. Every freaking weekend, pretty much. And at that point, yes, we did ask people to to bring stuff because we was young. Everybody we wanted to drink. Yeah, everybody <laughs> wanted to drink. So it's like, yeah. we wasn't going to be providing all your alcohol for you to come get drunk. <laughs> um, but I feel like a lot of people that, obviously, we, we hung around everybody. It was more of taking advantage of our space because we had it open. Like, I, I remember times we threw parties and, like, People would just like throw up all over our fucking bathroom and shit. I remember that one time. <laughs> Those were crazy day. We had a good and time. I mean, yeah, it, w- it was fun times. But now that you look back, it's like, okay, how much people came to actually enjoy your space, or come? So who actually came to just like take advantage because there was nothing else? And was Absolutely. like, oh, I mean, but that's like we were young. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, we, we was, were like what, early twenties. Yeah, yeah tw- early twenties. And life is just different when you're in your early 20s. Now that you're, we're in our early 30s, it's like not happening. No, like, but I'm saying like our viewers, we don't know who's watching. It could be somebody who hasn't moved out yet. So, you know, just be conscious of, you know, who's coming into your home. Is your space? Take care of it. We're a lot smarter than that now, baby. <laughs> not us. I'm talking about like the new, the people who are or watching. Other people who, yeah. who host and yeah, that's true. You should always protect your space, protect your home. Um, and again, there's stages for everything. You know, I feel like the stage we're in now, which is, you know, much older adults and not so, you know, on the younger side of adults, um, things are just different. You know, we have different priorities. We have different things that we like, different things that we accept, that we tolerate, where back then it was just like, Whatever comes, comes, you know. I mean, things are so different that we moved into this place. And obviously, a lot of, if you're like an OG follower, we used to have a photo studio in our old apartment. And, you know, we used to have clients that used to hit us up. We never met and we used to bring people into our home. And when we moved here, it was like, nah, we're not doing that. We yeah. don't want strangers. Although this is a smaller apartment, mm-hmm. if we really wanted to, we would have probably made it work. But we was like, nah, we want this to just be our home. Whoever comes in our home is whoever we invite. Right. And we know. People that we somewhat trust or know yeah. where they're coming from. Yeah. And all 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 my clients, her clients that did come into our old home, we they appreciate yeah, yeah. That we appreciate everybody was very respectful. We didn't have any issues, yeah. thank God. But you know, things can happen. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's not always that way. So we thank God that he protected our home and us, you know. While we did that, but that is a risk, you know, to just take people that you don't really know and have them come to your home. That there's always risk with that. So, yeah. anyways, we went from like splitting the bill at the restaurant to like you know bringing strangers to your house. I don't know how we got here, but we got here. Today's so you know <laughs> just talk, have some fun. So yeah, I think we pretty much answered um, today's podcast question. So for us, if you invite, you should be paying for the bill. And we do understand that there's different circumstances. And sometimes, you know, it is a group decision to, you know, meet up somewhere and you split the bill. But if you do that, just be very conscious of what you're putting on that bill. And just remember, (laughs) for my fellas out there, if you're inviting a girl on a first date, 
and you don't got money to cover that bill, you shouldn't be going on a date. A hundred percent. Period. hundred percent. Be straightforward. Also, like in that situation, be straightforward. Don't try to be something that you're not. Do not try to act like you have more money than you do. When a person is interested in you for who you are and they're not, you know, so much interested and invested in how much money you have, it will not matter. And if you don't have that much money, please do not deceive a yeah. woman, you know, and have her think you have tons of money because at the end of the day, it will bite you back and it's yeah, not going to be good. The, then the next day, she's going to expect the same thing. Cause exactly. Like, oh, hold on. This guy just balled out on our first date. Exactly. And that was the first date. Like you just set yourself up for failure yeah. from the beginning because now she's has she has a really high expectation and it's something that you will not be able to keep up with. So it's better to always be straightforward and let them know what's your situation. The fact that you don't have a lot of money now does not mean that you're not going to have a lot of money after, you know, in the future. So as long as she, in my opinion, if it's a good woman with good intentions, as long as she sees you're a hardworking man and you're working towards your goals and you're not just a potato couch, a couch potato, <laughs> couch potato, <laughs> potato couch. <laughs> <laughs> you're not just, you know, sitting there just being lazy. I'm sure that she's going to appreciate you being honest more than you trying to be flashy and it's all a lie. Yeah, because when when you're going on that first date, like you shouldn't be going with the mentality of, hey, I want to go to a fancy restaurant. Like you should be going with the mentality. Like if you're obviously if you're trying to date this person, it's because you want to get further with this person so like you should be going somewhere where you guys can actually be communicating and not necessarily like doing it for the gram like taking pictures like oh i just got to this restaurant let me post it on the gram yeah like go to a place where you guys can actually talk and this and that you know yeah it's not about showing off is what you're saying yeah yeah i agree i agree and then maybe just maybe you end up with a hot mama like that <laughs> also I feel like you have a better chance, men. I'm talking to the men. You have a Why better are you talking chance, to guys. Okay. You have a better chance of meeting a good-hearted woman. Let's say you do have money. Okay, let me change it now. You, you're not broke. You're not financially going through things. You have money. You're you're a lot more likely to find a good-hearted woman. If you just show her a humbler side of yourself, and I mean, if you just don't show her everything you have and don't take her to the fanciest restaurant, take it to a nice restaurant, but don't show off. Don't be flashy on the first couple of dates because she might be struck just by the money. You know, yeah. you want to make sure that this woman actually wants to get to know you for who you are. And it's not just super getting interested in you because you just showed her you have so much money. Like, get to know her before you disclose that you have so much money. I feel like if, if it's a man who has money, you need to take care of that because a lot of women might not realize that they're falling in love with the idea that this man has a lot of money yeah. and not really falling in love with the man who he actually is. So, yeah. I'm asking a question. Yeah. I'm asking two questions. I want to prove something. Okay. What was the first expensive restaurant I took you? Do you remember? Like off the top of your head? Ooh. <laughs> I do not. Am I supposed to? Now I'm asking a different question. What's the first piece of thing that I've ever bought you when we first dated, started dating? A lollipop. How much did that cost? 25 cents. <laughs> he has a great wine. <laughs> But it was meaningful. It was meaningful, yeah. A lollipop, guys. <laughs> That's why I got two kids out of this woman. That's hilarious. But that is a good point. But that's why I say sometimes it's not what you give the person. It's the meaning behind the things. You know, it's, it's what you make of things. So don't think that to impress a woman you have to have a lot of money. It will get to her a lot more. If you are a gentleman with her, if you are so different from every other man that she's met, if you respect her, if you show her that you respect her family, 
Like all yeah. those little things, you know, that you, that you are, you know, a hardworking man that you will look out for her best interest. All those things cost so much more than money. You know, those things money can't buy. And again, for me, money is very important. I'm not telling you women to settle for somebody who's lazy and just gives you love because love doesn't pay the bills. There needs to be a balance, you know. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> there needs to be a balance between a man who who meets, you know, your criteria of the kind of life you want to live and is willing to work, you know, to put food on the table but also, you know, is loving and caring for you as a person. So it's just this balance that, that needs to, to be there in order for a relationship to actually flourish and be sustainable and be a beautiful one. Yeah. And some context on that Pop, this was when we was like 16, 17. So. Yeah. But you know, that he got me a lollipop when we were like 25. We're 32 now. <laughs> yes. But yeah. All right. That wraps so- it up. That's it for today's podcast. Thank you so much for listening. For those of you who are listening and for those of you who are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Hit that like button so you so you're notified. What? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm so tired right now. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that bell so you can be notified every time we post. And that's it. Until next time. Peace. Peace. What's up? We have to dinner right now. Let's go. We split the bill. Let's split the bill. <laughs>